Hi, my name is Sim. Hi, my name is Merrick. And we'll be taking you on an amazing campus of Canterbury Christchurch, Canterbury Campus. For you guys, welcome. University Chapel. Construction began in 1962, but it wasn't finished until two years afterward. It was designed by two young men, and you can see the glass walls of the roof tower, uh, letting the light in so you can see its beauty. And in contrast, during night, the roof tower serves as a as a lighthouse over the Canterbury Christchurch campus. The food court is located in an ancient building and it has a wide variety of hot and cold beverages and food as we will show you right now. Whenever you want to make a purchase yeah. and a food court on other locations on the campus, you can use your student card to make that purchase and it will give you an 8% discount on anything you would buy. Welcome to University Kitchen. Uh, it was built in 1975, and last year there were sold over 30,000 books. Uh, it has a free, post-free delivery service uh, on any of the campus, and you can get the books next day. It also includes University Gift Show, where you can buy hoodies like this with Canterbury Christ logo. Or you can also buy a Canterbury Christchurch teddy bear. All the students get 10% discount on every purchase. This is Touchdown Cafe. It offers a wide variety of local to source fair trade products. You can find the Touchdown Cafe at any of our campuses, from Canterbury to Brussels or even Portsmouth. This is College, it's home of the music department. There are over five grand pianos in this building for music students to practice. Let's have it. Right, this is just one of the rooms. So, the piano is top of the Basically, this is the rule. Well, the students can practice without doing each other. They have like headphones, and you can see the girls who are playing students at the same time.
obviously just one of the many computer rooms available for students across our campus and campuses basically. You can log on to any of the computer computers using your student ID and password and also using your smart card you can print off lectures of, such as articles for essays or uh, lecture slides and uh, anything you would like to print with your print credits. One of the great things about studying at Canterbury Campus is, is that it's located right next to a historic building that is over 1400 years old, St. Augustine's End. So we are basically studying on its orchard. So this is Old Sessions House. It has three lecture theaters. And the, the interesting fact about it is, is that before it was an educational establishment, it was actually a courthouse where people went to trial and sat next, right, exactly to the prison next door, which we will show you in a few seconds. Also inside, you will find a reception and some vending machine for all your diet elements. It's a typical lecture theatre. You can find many of them on campus. Uh, it has a capacity of over 200 students, I uh, guess. Uh, uh, we actually counted the seats, so basically it definitely has over 200 students, but we didn't really count each individual seat. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of the lectures are actually recorded. So before the exam, you can have a revision, and it's, it's really good because it's like you actually been to the lecture as you were supposed to. If you're studying at Canterbury campus, there is a shuttle service running from some accommodation like Pen Hill or Parham Road to the main campus, Old Central House, or the library. It's free to use using your smart card. And it's really great when you're in a hurry and just don't feel like walking. As I said in the old session house, Kennedy Christ Church University, besides being located next to St. Augustine's Abbey, is actually located next to the, a, a, the prison in Canterbury. It's pretty cool actually. <laughs> This church is the oldest church in England that was in continuous use. It was built around the same time as St. Augustine's Abbey. And then we'll just show you a quick peek inside. It's actually really beautiful. This building, St. Martin's Prior, is the oldest building ever used by the university. Um, back then it was a college and uh, it's used uh, since 1962. Yeah, that's that right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a home for the uh, Department of Crim Criminal Law and Justice. No. <laughs> Law and Criminal Justice. Criminology and Criminal Justice. Yeah. Criminology and Criminal Justice. <laughs> Oh. It's it's push, Marek. It's push. It's push. <laughs> now we'll just show you a bit around inside. You can 
Gespräch. So, this was it. Hope you enjoyed our video tour and in this beautiful garden we shall finish. And thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. See ya. No one I'm trying to say. Yeah. Oh, this is just really experimental. I definitely are gonna use this. Let's see how it goes. It's okay, no, move on. Go on and then we go. It's it's already filming it's hard. It's hard. Go. This is one of the hundreds of lecture theaters we have on Canterbury Christchurch campus. Uh, I said hundred and it's not really true. <laughs> so we're gonna have to edit it in some way. At the beginning there was light. And then Marek. And then me. <laughs> you can see there's a red curtain. The, the shape of this red is, is the same as the chairs. So I think that is something you should write down. <laughs> the sound of the wind. <laughs> Marek. <laughs> I don't know how many lecture theaters we actually have. Five, six? Yeah. Why not? Five, six? We have approximately five and a half lecture theaters. A half for, I don't know. Five and a half. A half for medicine. <laughs> you just need a half. <laughs>